If you're seeing this video, I just want to pray for you. And this is a prayer for people who have been stained by religion. And one day I'll share my full testimony. But with I just had church hurt. I had religion. And as I've as I heard the voice of the Lord at the end of last year on December 28th, um, one of the things that Jesus has been dealing with in my life is the spirit of religion. Because I've never known a relationship apart from religion. So there'd be certain words in the Bible or there's certain relationships that I have with things in the Bible or even the Bible itself that felt very religious. But the closer I get to Jesus, the fire of his love begins to burn it up. And, but there's still residue that it's like water running through a pipe. It's just, it is removing the rust off of my, of my pipes. And so I want to pray for you because the Lord is calling so many home. I say thousands of stories that I have ex experienced through comments and messages, emails. The Lord is literally calling out so many back home, but many of us grew up religious and then we left and now we're coming back and we still feel that stain. And this is the difference between a sin and an iniquity. An iniquity sits on your soul. It's a stain. But the word says that when you step into, or the Bible says when you step underneath the waterfall of the word, it will begin to remove every stain and wrinkle out of your soul so you can hear again. So you can become clean. It's like after a shower, just that purifying thing. So I just want to pray for you. But Holy Spirit, and I want to read a scripture actually before I pray, but Luke uh, 11 the disciples are asking Jesus, um, teach us how to pray. Give us a model prayer. So Jesus taught them this prayer. Our Heavenly Father, may the glory of your name be the center on which our lives turn. May your Holy Spirit come upon us and cleanse us. Manifest your kingdom realm on earth and give us our needed bread for the coming day. Forgive our sins as we forgive and release forgiveness to those who have wronged us. And I want to highlight, may the Holy Spirit come upon us and cleanse us. And this is my heart. This is the Lord's heart right now. The Holy Spirit, I pray that you would come. I already know you're on this video. It's your presence is on every word. It's dripping like water, like honey. And I pray that you would cleanse whoever is listening to this prayer. I pray that your spirit wouldn't just, we're not doing just the work of forgiveness but we're doing the work of cleansing. And I pray that your spirit will begin to move and it would begin to manifest in the depths of their soul, the pain, the one who has been hurt by religion, the one who has been blinded by religion. I pray that you would set them free right now. I see chains being broken. I see, I see chains being broken in Jesus' name off of your life. I see stains being removed. I see spots um, being like dark spots just being erased off of your soul right now. I see the wrinkle, similarly when you're ironing the clothes or steaming it, steaming it. It's just removing the wrinkles right now. His presence is like a steamer right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Iron it is just by steam. You're not even ironing it out. It's the steam of His presence, right now. That is that the wrinkles are just leaving in Jesus' name. Cleanse us right now, Holy Spirit. Your presence is enough. Your presence is enough. And I pray that you would manifest your kingdom right now. I pray that deaf ears are being opened, blind eyes are being opened in Jesus' name. We are seeing you for the first time. We're not seeing a religion. We're seeing you, Jesus. There's such a cleansing spirit here. I pray you receive this. From the very beginning of this video, the Holy Spirit was just cleansing. And I'm not above any of this. 
the Holy Spirit is cleansing me from my religious eyes and my religious ears so I can see. The scales are falling off of mine. There are things that religion imprinted on my life and in my heart that blinded me, that caused me to hurt people in the name of religion. But the Holy Spirit is cleansing us right now. And I pray that you just feel just this, it's, a, like, it's like a steamer. That's what keeps popping up in my spirit. It is steaming out every wrinkle from your past in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Comment amen, share this with somebody that you may know. Um, maybe you've been de deconstructing your faith or been hurt by religion or you're just coming back and all of that's surfacing right now. Share this with somebody, comment your story. I wanna hear it, shoot me a message. Um, we also have a community, a family. I don't really just call it an online community. It's a family. All the info's in my bio if you want to join. Um, so many people who had deconstructed, walked away from church, all types of stuff. People who used to be psychics, um, just coming to Jesus and having a good time. So I pray you received this. I pray that you felt the Holy Spirit today. The Holy Spirit is cleansing you. In Jesus' name. I love you.